Day 36 from the start of the Bare Root Strawberry Grow. I will put a link below of how I started those plants. And again, we are day 36 from the start of that process, and we've got some good growth. A little bit of bug damage. Isn't that interesting? Regardless, let's go look at the hydroponics. Yeah! Day 36 from transplant of the seascape strawberries in hydroponics. I could not be more pleased. In fact, I'm blown away and amazed. Sitting underneath some T5 fluorescent lightings for 12 hours on, 12 hours off. It is growing in this rough neck tote, about 10 gallons. Uh, it's a 10 gallon tote, but it's got about 7 to 8 gallons of water slash nutrient. Got a couple of air stones going in there. And the air stones are on the same schedule as the lighting. So believe it or not, I'm only providing air 12 hours a day. Um, and then during the off period, it's getting no oxygen. So uh, I'm getting this type of production. Got some incredible runners coming on, which I need to prune off because I want to encourage fruit production. Uh, got a lot of flowers going on in here, and in fact, in the back, I already have some berries with a little bit of size starting to kick on, which I'll do a close-up on. Every once in a while, I give them a little tap, 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 try to get them pollinated type of thing, okay, guys? Um, and so sometimes I'll put a fan on them, sometimes I'll put a toothbrush, one of them electric toothbrushes on them, or, or sometimes I'll just tap them and just try to get them pollinated that way. What the most amazing part about this particular grow here is, is in 36 days there's been two nutrient changes. Today will be the third, which is a super easy nutrient change. But again, the most important thing is, is up to this point, how much nutrient have I given it? 10 milliliters. That is it. I have really cut back based on some of the comments I got from last year's grow on cutting back on the nutrient and letting the plant just go on its own. And believe me guys, it's unbelievable. It's like I don't know how they're surviving and putting on this much growth with this much nutrient over 30 days, but believe it or not, they are. What kind of nutrient am I using? Fox Farm Grow Big. It's a uh, very concentrated formula, 644. I'm going to be adding 10 milliliters to this round. I'm going to kind of kick it up just a touch uh, this round, but it's just absolutely unbelievable how little nutrient it has taken to grow with these kind of results. Now let's get to nutrients. Now let's do this. Okay, guys, so uh, a way to do this very simply, very easy, is to buy an identical tote as a backup type of an extra thing. Put your nutrient in, pop, like that. Take the top from the other bin, lift up your air stones, lift the whole unit up, air stone and all, if I can, pop, pop, done. Was that hard? All right, guys, as I was indicating, get starting to get some berry production in here. A couple of little guys, a couple of big ones. Uh, got a few coming on in there. Nothing, I mean, to write home about type of thing, but we do uh, have some great growth going on. I do need to do some pruning on this, to, again, to get the runners off, get some of this older vegetation from the bottom off that's turning brown type of thing. So let me quick do that, and then we'll wrap up this video. Okay guys, so I've got all of the runners cut off. I've done a little bit of pruning to allow some light to get into some of the undergrowth type of thing. And we are just going to wait for the berries to start kicking in. Let's come back around day 72. Why? Because day 72 sounds like a good number to come back on. So I look forward to seeing you again on the next update. I expect some serious production at that point. Um, so please tune back, like, subscribe, comment when you can. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care, bye.